I'm back today with another update on Cosmic, the Rust-based Linux desktop environment brought to you by the team at System76. I want to talk about when it's going to be released and check out some of the updates on a live environment today as we check out the latest blog from System76. We're back with more updates on Cosmic, a new Rust-based desktop environment built for Pop! OS on other distros. As of last count, there are 20 issues to be resolved leading up to the alpha release. This is getting super exciting as they are getting super close. We're going to be talking about a potential release time frame here towards the end of the video, so make sure to stay tuned. We're getting close, folks. This round of updates brings some essential updates as well as more amazing contributions from the Cosmic community, Grooviness. All right, a lot of quality of life improvements in this particular post, but before we get to those, let's check out the latest updated pre-alpha environment setup. I wanted to show you around this a little bit. I haven't done this in quite a while, and there have been a lot of updates. So I wanna explore what things look like right now, right before the alpha release. Here, when I click applications up top on the left-hand side, side, we get this view here where we see our folders, things such as the system file folder, utilities, you can add your own group, look at the home users directory, and then access your applications. If you want to start a terminal, you can just simply type in terminal. And there's two types here, cosmic terminal and the gnome terminal. We're going to launch cosmic terminal as it pertains to this Rust cosmic desktop experience. And here you can see the accent colors up top, the colors and the theming around the particular window it's fantastic and so is their cosmic terminal you can easily create new tabs I do like terminals that have tabs in them easy to go between things and easily manage them overall the terminal experience is great everything runs fresh and smooth in here now one thing I want to check out real quick because a lot of you have been asking for it is what the resource usage looks like here on cosmic well I don't have htop so I'll install it real quick and with htop installed we can finally look and see what the resource usage looks like here. But for the time being, I have around 2.3 gigs running out of my 32 gigs. I've seen this much lower, not sure what's currently going on with that. And my CPU cores are fluctuating somewhere between one and 3%. I have 152 tasks and I've been up for about 30 minutes. Anyways, I don't think this is a great representation of what things are going to be when the alpha is released, but it's something that a lot of people have been asking for. So I figured I'd show you. Moving on to what's at the bottom here. The dock here shows up so you can actually see it here kind of attached to the bottom. It has no borders. This is some frame buffer issue here on the left and right. No big deal. I'm sure it's being worked out. But we have Firefox. We have the file browser manager. We have Cosmic Edit, Cosmic Terminal, and their new and improved store. For those of you who have not checked these out, you definitely should. But overall, the style here is minimalistic and in my opinion, great. In the settings panel, we can actually set some of these colors as well. In the color settings, there's quite a bit of setup and customization that you can do with all the various different configs available on the system. I do like how they've set everything up with the proper categories. Right now, I'm missing a color profile, so I can't. But regardless, they've made a ton of progress here. One of the best things about Pop! OS is their tiling window support. Let me show you what I mean. By doing super Y, I can toggle on the wonderful tiling support that they have, and it still works great even with your mouse. If I hit super and use the mouse, I can still use the tiling manager quite well with all the proper tiling window support, and I can, of course, use my keyboard, which is what this is actually intended to be used for. By selecting super and then using the arrows, I can get around, I can move them as well by holding up the shift key and moving the window anywhere I want on the screen. It's fantastic, it's very fluid. You can see the animations running very smoothly. I love the way that they've done this. It's one of the best things about Pop! OS, the way that they've integrated support for both floating windows and tiled windows. It's a fantastic treat for those of you who wanna be able to use tiling window support. I highly suggest it. All right, on the blog, we have inactive window styling. Headers for inactive windows will now be styled with inactive colors, making it more apparent as to which window is active. For example, the default dark mode theme uses a distinguished gray color for icons in the header bar. They're just showing off how to tell which windows are focused, which you can set the colors on now. Fantastic. I've been covering the development on Pop! OS for nearly two years now. Let's talk about these keyboards 
keyboard shortcuts. The customizable keyboard shortcuts has been finished. Now you can replace any shortcut that you want in order to make it open up files, folders, and apps all with custom shortcuts. Super tab or alt tab feature now allows you to switch windows. It's been implemented and establishes a new era of peace for Cosmic Team and our pre-alpha lab rats. Apparently that was a big request in order to actually be able to switch windows. Let's go give it a shot real quick. Maybe it's implemented in the pre-alpha version as well. All right, back to this. Let me try the super tab key first. And there we go. Fantastic. I can select between the varying. I do like how they've given us also an option to hit control plus whatever number we want to quickly go through all of our windows. But this is great. I'm sure it's going to come into use for many people. Now, one reason I haven't been able to record as many videos as I've wanted to on my particular physical box with Cosmics with Cosmic on it is because of this display mirroring. This feature has been added now in the settings panel of Cosmic settings, enabling you to display the same image across multiple screens, which hasn't been given to me in this pre-alpha here that you're seeing, but I do have a way around that for now. That's how I bring you these videos. I have to record it directly from my physical machine because the best way to run pre-alpha version is on a physical device. We'll continue on to talking about panel overflow menu. When a panel gets too crowded with apps and applets, the extra apps can be found in a menu in the panel. This feature isn't merged yet, but it's getting there. All right, gaming fixes many bugs with gaming have been resolved, such as issues with minimizing games, locking up when losing focus and an invisible in-game cursors. I'm glad that they are focused on improving the quality of life. I mean, gaming is going to be something important and it's something that Pop! OS is actually really known for. Their particular distribution is used by many gamers in the Linux community, so I love to see that they are highly focused on getting things right there. Cosmic Settings Performance. Performance has been improved for the settings application, which now uses WGPU Render. Various settings are also now responsive to narrow window widths. So another great thing is how focused they are on performance improvements, which we're going to be reading more about. But the team at System76 has been making sure that this alpha is in a pristine condition for us to test and it shows as they are constantly improving performance. So let's take a look at that. I'm sure we're not even close yet on performance optimizations as they're only now starting to get to that level of development where they can go back and actually precisely tune everything in order to get some good performance out of it. But I'm loving the fact that they're already starting this in the pre-alpha. Compositor multi-threading increased performance here also. Bug fixes for multi-GPU systems. A patch for the ICE GPU resolves a number of issues regarding multi-GPU workflows, which of course are going to be important as many computers do have multi-GPUs. Workspaces accidentally turning on the GPU by using anti-aliasing. Another fix addresses NVIDIA GPUs powering up while in the default hybrid graphics mode. We also have plenty of third-party contributions and an update to the FlexRow widget, but I definitely want to take a moment and thank all the third-party contributors that have been growing with the Cosmic Desktop environment as they are also growing fast. Here's a list of recent contributors. We're going to go through this list real quick. You can definitely tell by the community developing all sorts of apps and applets that are going along with Cosmic, even though it hasn't even officially released alpha version. Thanks to Wiznokes, Burak Turker Dev, Lazy Tanuki, Joshua Mega Auth, 54, 11 HSoft, Ed Flores, Pixel Dotted, BG Wrong Way, Coronier, Marinkis, and now we're getting towards the end of the blog. System 76. Oh, that's us. This has been quite a list of amazing contributions, and it only gets better from here. Stay tuned for the Cosmic Alpha coming soon to an operating system near you. When am I going to get to use this wonderful desktop environment? Well, at this point, we can start to expect it somewhere around the end of this month. That's right. In July, the plan is to have a suitable alpha release. Of course, that's not even the beta phase, but the exciting part is they're going to be moving through this stuff very quickly once the first alpha is released. I can imagine within a few months, we will be getting the full-fledged desktop experience with the latest pop 
desktop OS 24.04 image, which is being built currently. I'm excited for the end of the month in order to get my hands on the alpha release. I'm sure you are too. And if you are, make sure to comment in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what you're most excited about from this brand new desktop environment that System76 is bringing to us. Everything just is so fluid. Love the animations, love the shell, love the compositor. Everything is performant here. You can tell they've taken their time, but also have brought us a great product. Again, super exciting to see all this dev come to fruition. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.